please turn on to your left side. Mm -hmm. Finally, auscultate for murmurs, which are relatively long sounds often caused by the backward flow of blood. As with any heart sound, if you detect a murmur, note its timing and duration. For example, a systolic murmur may occur during part or all of systole. Similarly, a diastolic murmur may occur during part or all of diastole. Also determine the murmur's pitch, which may be high, medium, or low. And rate its intensity. A grade 1 murmur is barely audible. Grade 2 is quiet but clearly audible. Grade 3 is moderately loud. Grade 4 is loud and associated with a thrill. Grade 5 is very loud with an easily palpable thrill. Grade 6 is very loud with a palpable and visible thrill. In addition, describe the murmur's quality. For example, a murmur may be blowing, rumbling, or harsh. Also note the murmur's location, radiation, pattern such as crescendo, decrescendo, or plateau, and changes with the respiratory phase. In children and adolescents, you may find innocent murmurs, which have no known cause. They usually occur in the pulmonic area, are grade 1 or 2, and disappear when the patient sits or stands. Although examination of the heart requires expert use of all the basic assessment techniques, you can easily achieve this level of skill with practice. And with this skill comes the ability to take your physical examination, health history, and laboratory test findings, and build a complete clinical picture of the patient's cardiac health. <laughs>